All right, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I was going to start this little segment by showing you a game that I have at home called Mastermind. But you know what? I forgot to bring it, which is really ironic because the reason I was going to talk about it was that I was going to talk about memory. Well, why would I want to talk about memory? It's because of this ad that is all over the internet, uh, suggesting that Stephen Hawking, widely recognized as one of the most brilliant people in the world, is so brilliant because he's taking a dietary supplement. And that dietary supplement is called Intelligen. Well, as you can see, the ad here suggests that he was interviewed on CNN by Wolf Blitzer, although, curiously, the article says that he was interviewed by Anderson Cooper. Uh, not surprising, because this, of course, is, is all nonsense. What we have here is good old-fashioned fake news. All right, well, I got interested in it, of course, because of the potential chemistry involved in this dietary supplement called Intelligent. Uh, so I looked up you know, some of the ingredients, and it turns out that one of the ingredients featured in that supplement is ginkgo biloba. Now, you've probably heard about ginkgo biloba because it is around, has been around for a long time as a dietary supplement in order to improve memory. Well, ginkgo is a tree. It's a very interesting tree. And uh, here are some of the leaves of the ginkgo tree, very easily recognized uh, because of the, of the shape. It is one of the oldest trees in existence. It was around before the dinosaurs. Indeed, there are about uh, five trees that survived after the bombing of Hiroshima, very close to where the, the uh, weapon actually exploded, which is interesting. And they're very attractive trees. You'll find them on, on the street. Now, when you do a chemical analysis of the leaf, like any plant product, you find really dozens and dozens of different chemicals. Well, some of these, especially the so-called ginkosides, have been examined, and there is some evidence in animal studies and in some human studies of slight improvements in memory, although it is not, not very compelling at all. There really is no evidence for improvement in, in uh, Alzheimer's disease, although sometimes you know, this is just what, what they claim. So I looked up at this, you know, in this intelligence supplement, and it says that it contains ginkgo in addition to something called Bancoba, Bancoba monieri, uh, which is another plant uh, extract. But what is very interesting is that there's no mention of how much of these ingredients is present. So without that, it's impossible even to make a guess at whether or not this may work or not. But after searching on PubMed, which is a site that lists everything published on a particular topic in, in, in health journals. There is nothing at all about uh, Intelligent. So I, I think it is pretty much of a, a scam product. Uh, it doesn't mean that uh, ginkgo doesn't have some sort of, of potential. Uh, I think we need a lot more research. And eventually, if specific components are isolated, concentrated, they may have some kind of, uh, of effect. But there's one other interesting thing about uh, ginkgo. It comes in male and female farms. And the female tree produces a fruit. And the fruit has nuts inside. And in the fall, uh, the fruit falls. And when it starts to break down, starts to rot, it produces an absolutely disgusting smell. It is the smell of rotting flesh or, or rancid butter. Uh, butyric acid is what we're talking about. And butyric acid has an absolutely obnoxious smell. So in the fall, if you see a ginkgo tree, make sure that you stay away from stepping on the, the, the fruit that has fallen off because it will be an absolutely horrific smell. So uh, I don't know what else I wanted to tell you about ginkgo, but I can't quite remember. <laughs>